start with what the scripture said. According to Psalms 104 verse 16, the cedar trees which get plenty of praise, which Yahuwah's own trees he planted. So even the scriptures, Yahuwah said, our Creator planted a tree. Very specific. What kind of tree? It's a cedar tree. Where it planted? It is in Lebanon. So specific. And that is why the project of our Congresswoman, Dr. Ann Hofer, envisioned a 2 million trees to be planted in the whole area of Sibukai. And also specific for this morning, it's specific trees to be planted. This is Rambutan. Rambutan were planted in Tawai, Ipil, Sambuanga, Sibukai. It's a fertilizer, it's a vermicast, vermicomposting. It comes from the cast of a mix of compost as well as the vermicast. That's the, uh, the waste of the African night crawl. No? It's an earth, kind of earthworm. This is a source of fertilizer for this tree to be planted. As I've said, this is rambutan. And you see the roots? This is the trunk and this is the leaves. The leaves is green because there is, a pre there is a presence of green color of pigment called as the chlorophyll and that is why this is green. While the roots, it's an absence of chlorophyll. There is no chlorophyll here. And what is inside the root? The root has a large lot of starch. More starch compared to the trunk. The trunk has a little starch compared to the roots. More starch on the roots. So what is inside the, the, the trunk? The trunk has the central pit. It is the central soft tissue of a plant, while the roots has, has no central pit. So that is why we have to plant now this tree. We have to remove first the fertilizer, a uh, portion of the fertilizer, which is the, the vermicomposting. And then you have to plant this one like this, and then drop, cover it with uh, this compost, and then a little soil. And do not, do not overflow with soil, just like that. This is still a remaining vacant portion in order if the rain will come, a portion of the rain will go here, will, uh, a lot of, of rains coming here, and th those rains uh, brings plenty of topsoils. And you know that topsoils have full nutrients in it. Okay, so the composition of this tree has six elements. One is carbon, the second is hydrogen, the next is oxygen, nitrogen, phosphorus, and sulfur. Once this, in the future, once this tree will grow into a 30 meters tall tree, it has the ability or, or it has the capability to absorb carbon dioxide 22.7 kilo, kilograms or equivalent to 50 pounds of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere in one year, all the whole years. The same amount if you have a car driving 41,500 kilometers a distance. Now, this tree, a 30 meter tall tree, will produce 2,721 kilograms or equivalent to 5,998.78 pounds of oxygen. And that oxygen is enough for two people or two persons to survive, it's enough oxygen for them. One large tree can lift up 100 gallons of water and discharge it into the air. And that is why this area is so fresh. It's presence of uh, the presence of air, no? the presence of the air, including the water vapor that being released by, by this tree. This, and that's why this area is cold. No? There's a shadow on that. They produce shadow as well as a uh, a uh, mix of water vapor that's why the air of this area is fresh and one person every one person uses wood and if you have a children that go to school they will use paper and those products are uh, those trees and wood and papers are being used utilized by one person it is equivalent to a 100 foot tall trees with a diameter of 18 inches so the products that that will be produced by the tree is more than 5,000 uses that the products that a tree can produce. The okay, trees are both faster for self-defense and communications. When this tree is being attacked by insect pests, the tree will exude 
the tree will flood the leaves of the trees in, with chemicals called as phenolics. And this noxious compounds is distasteful to, distasteful to the taste of the tree pest in a tree. And the tree itself, when they, they are being attacked with those insects, they will signal to their neighboring trees or to the other trees that signaling them to have also their self-defense before the attack of those insects. In terms of communications, there are methods of communications with those trees. They uh, send signal chemicals to the wind as well as to the root system. They call this the mycorrhizal network root system, the shared fungus fibers in the root system. You are inside the forest and you are lost and you didn't have any compass along with you. The tree could assist you in your navigation. Just look for a big tree that has moss growing on it. The moss will grow on the northern part of the tree because the tree receives lesser lights. And that is why it's a favorite place for the moss to grow. So you have now marked where is the north and you know where is the south, the east and the west. The second method when you're inside the forest and you are lost, look for a tree. These trees trap more solar energy than any other organism. The trees account 50% more solar energy that's being trapped by these trees. And we call these trees are the biggest end battery. This is the biggest battery presence here on earth, is the trees. And the trees need also food. The trees need food, but you cannot buy food for them because they produce their own food. They manufacture their own food from sunlight, water, carbon dioxide, and the nutrients that are present in this soil. This is an African tulip tree. You see the tree bears flowers. And these flowers, the insects, of the, the insects are attracted to these flowers. Insects like wasps, bees, ants, and so on and so forth. According to scientists, there are a large tree have a 248 kinds of insects, whether visiting insects or permanently staying on that large tree. So this tree, as I said, said bears flower, and those insects will be attracted by smaller mammals like root small rodents and small insects bats because those insects are the source of food for those little mammals small mammals and like small rodents and those small rodents are being attracted with bigger mammals and the insects are being attracted by small bird small bird and the small bird are being attracted by a bigger birds and that is why this tree alone uh, this tree alone the food system the food chains in the ecosystems is being active. Isaiah said, Isaiah in the book of Isaiah 55 verse 12, B, it says, And in the trees in the field clap their hands. And uh, other, other verses, other book of the Bible in Psalms 96 verse 12, B, it says, Then the trees in the forest rejoice. So, this tree clap their hands and when the field is fertile, the mountain is fertile and the hill is fertile, those trees will clap their hands and they will rejoice.